it is the 29th day of April and the 20th or a 21st or 23rd. I don't know. I've been screwing up a lot. I've been bad at this. It's very embarrassing. I was just on a live stream here with the people of Nerdfighteria and they're like, Hank, did you quit Veda? I guess I might as well have quit Veda if I'm not doing the videos. Sorry guys, this is embarrassing. It's so embarrassing. So I've been hanging out in the live show, playing some songs, making some jokes, answering some questions, and just generally having a great time with a bunch of nerd fighters who are at the Helping Haiti Heal live show announcing the day in which the SSDFTBA is taking off and going to Haiti with a bunch of aid supplies, including medical supplies and lots of like tents and sleeping bags for people who don't have homes right now. And I played some of my songs and I played some other songs. I think people were a little bit confused by the fact that I played some Kesha and some Lady Gaga. I'm not saying that I think Kesha and Lady Gaga are like the best musicians in the world, but I totally like their music. Someone in the live stream just said, you should mention us with lots of S's. So I'm mentioning them. They're right over there. Here, look at them. Look, there they are, chatty, chatting away. Two days from now is the first day of May, meaning yet tomorrow is the last day of vlog every day in April, so I might as well be able to just bust out and do these last two days. If I don't do tomorrow, I will just be embarrassed. But that also means that the day after tomorrow is the day in which I'm giving that little speech to the Missoula bar camp, and I have to figure out what I'm talking about, and I've put up together a little bit of something, and I really appreciate you guys helping me form some thoughts up on that stuff, but what I wanna hear is what do you think is cool about the place where you live? Like what is unique about where you live? And if you live in like New York City or LA, then I mean, there's a ton of unique stuff. But if you live in a smaller town, what is it that your community has that a lot of other places just don't have? That's what I've been trying to identify in Missoula. And, and I think it's pretty obvious what we've got. We've got nice people in an authentic small town that is like progressive and, and education based. We have lots of wilderness, lots of good stuff out there to go and enjoy and see and experience. We have lots of nonprofits. We have a very good school. All of these things add together into a very unique kind of place. And how can we use that unique thing to make my community a better place and to help grow it economically, create jobs, and mix it with the kind of stuff that I do, new media and internet stuff. So what's unique about your community? What's the thing that you can mix new media and the internet with in order to create something valuable and, and vibrant in your community? That's what I'm curious about. What is it that you've got? And if you live in New York City, then screw off because you got everything. That's all for me today. Again, I apologize for not vlogging every day in April. This is just embarrassing. I will see you all tomorrow.